the global distinguished colleagues. The global cumulative risk of uh, cancer from birth to 74 years of age in men is as high as 22 percent as 18 percent in women. Um, risk of dying of cancer is 12.7 percent in men and 8.8 percent in women. That's the data of 2018. In Japan, one out of four men die of cancer and one out of six uh, sick women. According to the Japanese forecast, 50 percent of uh, cancer patients um, will uh, turn 50, which means that mortality is going up. What kind of button to press? Up with mortality. I do not see what button to press. Okay, for hundreds of years, people were aware of uh, lethal uh, cancer diseases, oncological diseases, without understanding the essence. You know, like uh, millennia of uh, voodoo, voodoo medicine, uh, basically failed. You know, like people try to uh, treat cancer with herbs, uh, simple molecules, uh, and. Um, surgical um, treatment uh, for cancer um, became available in the middle of 19th century. Surgery is a main, a major treatment modality for cancer. And basically, um, uh, organ sparing uh, operations will become a must uh, as target therapy evolves. Uh, on autopsy of uh, those died um, poisoned with Ypres uh, in, in Germany and during the World War I, uh, people discovered a pleasure, um, bone marrow, a pleasure. And that's how the idea was conceived uh, to develop a Ypres analog. It was a Mustargen, it's a Russian. That's the name. And it became very efficacious in the setting of lymphoma. And basically, the, the Dr. Phillips, you know, told me that uh, in 1946 in the U.S. The, oh. By the time the first chemotherapy chemotherapy unit was set up in our institute in 1961. There were very few uh, active uh, molecules, active uh, pharmaceutical ingredients uh, working on um, mm, multiple myeloma, lymphoma, and seminoma. A very serious contribution was made by one of my mentors, uh, Academician Lariano, who suggested to combine various amino acids, uh, heterocycle, uh, cytotoxic um, uh, compounds. In the course of 20 years after publication of uh, Mustagine effect, um, about thousands of alkylene agents were studied. But you know, all the studies failed due to um, low uh, specificity and sensitivity, and I metabolized. Sergey Farber and I also had a chance to meet with him in the U.S. in 1948. Uh, mentioned uh, that metabolite was used for stimulating hemoglobin in children, but uh, acute leukemia stimulated uh, uh, some um, leukogenic processes, and that's how anti anti metabolites were created. Basically, they were used uh, in um, uh, acute leukemia, leukemia, and such effects have not been observed before. They were so happy, they thought they uh, had the result, uh, leukemia treatment problem. Then pyrimidine in, uh, inhibitors were suggested and that were active um, uh, various uh, cancers. Then six mercaptopathies 
Purin and analogs of uh, uh, um, Citazar, Gemocetabine, Ftor, Euros, Ftor, uh, Fluor, Eurosil were suggested. Anti tumorous antibiotics, it's seven of those. Now, they are still alive in our oncology portfolio. Uh, Dr. Rubis, or in fact, some of those, like Dr. Uh, Dactinomycin, is efficacious in the Ewing sarcoma, chorion carcinoma of the uterus, and some other. Downomycin, you know, is, uh, it, it works in uh, setting of Kaposi uh, sarcoma, um, and the old Japanese antibiotic all works uh, on some epithelial tumors. Um, the herbal uh, drugs and anti tubular uh, inhibitors, anti tubular drugs, topo isomerase uh, inhibitors, they are good for, in, for neuroblastomas. Toxins, irinotecan, topotecan, anti tubular, and again, uh, topo isomerase inhibitors, and so are used for capsular sarcoma and other uh, tumors. Um, Abraxan also belong to this group. Classical non-target anti-tumorous drugs uh, uh, um, prescribed in um, metastatic cancers for 1.5 years, and uh, um, uh, testicular uh, tumors and trophoblastic um, disease are the exceptions to the rule. <coughs> Endocrine therapy works on some cancer um, because the cells they are derived from are um, hormone sensitive. And the hormone sensitive cancer comprise um, breast cancer, prostate cancer, uterine cancer, some neuroendocrine tumors. The endocrine therapy for blood for breast cancer is an, an example of target, first uh, example of target therapy. Uh, you know, aromatized inhibitors and their uh, uh, analogs, LHRH, uh, are uh, used. Now, basically, you know, in 70 to 80 percent of patients, uh, they are efficacious. In the course of the last 30 years, so we modified, dramatically modified our understanding of uh, cancer pathogenesis due to attainment of molecular biology. Human body, um, you know, contains a lot of uh, cells. The human genome contains of 35 to 40,000 genes. <laughs> they are ex express expressing uh, thousands of proteins. The cell gen uh, the genome is the most sophisticated computers. All other computers are nothing uh, compared to human genome. L look at the um, cancer genome. It's like an ocean, an underwater volcano. Uh, the cell genome um, gets affected, constantly affected by environmental factors, and uh, those are milieu. And basically, we call those driver mutations. And here, you know, this it's so called passenger mutation that uh, uh, are not directly associated with cancer. But look at the uh, amount of these mutations. Cancer is a disease of the cellular genome uh, due to DNA mutation. Cancer genesis is a multi-step and multi-year uh, Transform cancerous transformation process. You know, we encounter RAS uh, oncogene and three versions of KRAS and RAS and HRAS. Basically, among other uh, mutated oncogen, HER2, PIC3CA, uh, uh, MIC BRAF dominate. You know, um, the common mutation of the suppress 
user genes, P53 block. The block of this gene are result in mutation and basically it leads to uh, impairment of various cellular functions including uh, cancerogenesis and one of the um, protein inactivating other proteins. Uh, mutations um, seen in genes um, rep DNA repair. Malignant uh, tumors possess the following qualities, properties. They cannot be they do not control hyperproliferation. Um, they in fact uh, uh, are not um, acted upon by suppressor, uh, and basically they cannot uh, be a subject for immune destruction. All these indicated key processes are the target for molecular therapy. In the US, since 2018, in the armamentarium of target drugs um, allowed by the um, FDA, uh, um, there, there were 90 of those allowed by FDA, and uh, many of those are still in uh, development. Five-year survival in chronic uh, L cell L uh, is rather good. In um, acute uh, lymphoblastic uh, leukemia, uh, it's 65% uh, survival in children and 15% uh, survival, five-year survival in adults. Multiple my my myeloma. Um, in fact, 50% of uh, M M patients mm, survive on uh, target therapy. It's also very successful uh, for melanoma and colon cancer, uh, kidney cancer, hypernephroma. Target therapy for lung tumor is difficult due to a variety of gene impairment. Um, there are 18 genes. Of dating the types of mutations. That's why we have to find a person that would have just one mutation. It's one story. And whenever a patient has 18 mutations, it's another story. You know, it's, it's more difficult to find and prescribe treatment. Contemporary immune therapy for cancer uh, was suggested at the end of the previous century. It's, uh, you know, the function of this gen genes CTL A4, PD1, and PDL1 have been characterized. They protect, you know, um, the tumorous uh, cells. And basically, this uh, illustration shows what kind of Tumors um, may respond to immunotherapy, like 20 in 25 to 30 percent of cases, but it's reliable. At least, without a doubt, there is no 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 doubt. Immunotherapy is efficacious in 25 to 30 percent of patients. Um, we have to achieve that. Not everyone responds to. Uh, treatment, but it's uh, very sufficient. A very interesting picture, like normal normal tumors. Oh, it's a lymphatic cell that endeavors uh, tumorous cell, cancer cell, and the last. Not one before the last slide. This slide demonstrates by the Americans global data of 2018, I would say 15, okay. The young people get ready. 24 million people worldwide will be diagnosed by 2035, uh, diagnosed with cancer. And then 2015, it's 15.2 million. Basically, you know, the rate will double. 14 million 
uh, will die uh, versus 8.8 .8 in 2015. Okay, young people, uh -huh, you, know, you will have to work hard. There is no more important problem, challenge, as opposed to cancer. Thank you for your attention.